What's going on guys? I covered this person like two months ago and it's somebody by the name of In Praise of Shadows. Now, the video he did was like really cringy, a lot of really bad data, a lot of bad information, and pretty much was just generally wrong. And it just seemed like he was just, I don't know, throwing wild accusations uh, due to association, which was a really bad move. He threw out, you know, people are racist. Uh, basically, if you're white, you're racist automatically, or you should assume Appalachian Mountains or whatever is just a bunch of racist people. And he tries to you know, walk these things back a little bit while moving the, goal, the goalposts. And uh, this video that I'm talking about is actually not even on his main channel. This is supposed to be an apology video without being an apology video. And which I'll get into a little bit more uh, here in a second. But basically, he went on a new channel that he made like a like, couple weeks ago and uploaded to, which was called IPOS uh, Dark Side. Which is supposed to be, you know, in Praise of Shadows. And basically, he just addresses, like, almost absolutely nothing. He doesn't apologize for it. Uh, the only apology he really just directly talks about is in his comments, which was done by one of the people that he actually was talking about. A guy by the name of Buckingham, uh, Brandon Buckingham. And it was somebody that he talked trash about. And he said, hey, you know what? We forgive you, man. Everybody forgives you. And I hope you're doing well and we should collab. That was the only thing even remotely coming close to an apology was what he said back to him, that he apologized for everything, this, that, and the other. Well, that's the thing. The internet, while being a very extreme place as far as uh, being either 100% with you or 100% against you, you had to have made all the wrong choices to do this video and not just directly address that you were just in the wrong, you shouldn't have said what you said. Individually apologize to the people that basically have these large followings and try to at least make something positive out of this. And you did none of that. Hi. Uh, I don't really know how to start this, so I guess I'm just gonna start talking, I guess. Uh, it's been a while. Hope you've been okay. I didn't want to really use a script for this video because anything that I say will be talked negatively about. And if I'd used a written response, I felt like people would be like, oh, he's just, uh, you know, doing this for PR. You know, I didn't want it to feel like a statement that a politician would put out. The history of, like, you know, YouTube apology videos is like a format that is consistently made fun of for good reason. And I'm not anti-apology at all. I'm not. Uh, it's just that like, usually like someone who works on the internet will mess up and then like immediately will put out like an apology video and be like, you know, I'm not that person anymore. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I've changed guys. And it's complete bullshit. No, he's right. Apology videos are terrible. They very rarely work. Uh, well, for the majority of audience, for m pretty much the entire, you know, YouTube sphere. Now, usually it works for, like, their private little, you know, stick around audience. So subs to stay around or the followers, whatever you have. And I think it's kind of ironic. He says, yeah, no, you know, everybody can see right through it, which is kind of what's going on here. Like, his like to dislike ratio, now, given it's a... <laughs> It's still a, uh, you know, an add-on, so it's not exactly correct, but it still shows he has been liked, or he's been disliked to hell and back. He's ratioed bad. And I think it's kind of crazy he's trying to say, you know, I don't want this to be an apology video, which it's not. It literally isn't. He doesn't even have to say this. This entire statement was worthless because he doesn't apologize. He makes up excuses for literally every reason. He's trying to walk back the things he said while moving the goalposts, by stating certain things of why he says something. Not, hey, you know what? What I said was wrong and inaccurate and I'm dumb. I shouldn't have said that. This person didn't deserve that. The, the majority of it is like Jordy Jordan levels of delusion and walking back things. Literally just explaining why he said something. Not so much that he shouldn't have just said it. He apologizes. He was in the wrong. My bad. I shouldn't have said these things towards these people without any shred of evidence other than some wacky shit that I took screenshots of. Actually trying to explain my point more because I cover a lot of points in videos and sometimes I'm guilty of hitting a point really quick and then moving on. Especially because I kind of am also guilty of making a lot of my work assuming wrongly that people are familiar with my past and my like work as well. Uh, I kind of make every video or did make every video as as a sequel to all of my previous work. Your video that is being criticized and you deleted is literally you just bashing other YouTubers. Now, I might be missing some micro video somewhere on his channel, but all his videos that I've watched and I personally watched them before all this controversy even popped off was that you just did breakdowns of movies and like all his other, you know, explanations behind everything. 
And I don't know how you can put that side by side with, well, you know what? I do my videos like a you know sequel or like somebody watched the previous one. There's nothing even wrong with that. It's just the fact that it has nothing to do with the video that you did, your hit piece. It has nothing to do with it. And just because it was, and it's a criticism that <laughs> you did some, uh, you know, little bits and pieces that you used from a previous video in this video, and that oh, that's a criticism. Uh, you know, I do this all the time. What what does that have to do with the fact that the biggest problem, which you deleted out of your video, was the criticisms that you had on these other YouTubers? All because of some goof. My entire talent a few weeks ago was basically destroyed from the hurricane. And like, there were like tweets still five months later saying, well, at least in Praise of Shadows probably died in that. All right, I'm going to take what he said with a grain of salt, but let's just go ahead and, and for argument's sake, say he's telling the truth about some of these accusations of people threatening him, all that. Okay, first and foremost, I do not like witch hunts. I don't like people going after people. I, I sure don't like when somebody you know, wishes ill like that. You know, a very big devastating thing happened and people are always like, oh man, well, man, too bad this didn't happen to this person. I don't like that. So first things first, I will say I'm sorry if that happened. That's something that I don't condone at all for any reason whatsoever, even if you're making a stupid hit piece. Also, nobody that I mentioned in that video was harmed at all. So that is a very Wings of Redemption take, okay? That is straight from his playbook where he would never take responsibility for his actions and always say, well, you know what? The person didn't get hurt. Um, first and foremost, in my opinion, make sure you understand this. I'm not accusing you of this. My opinion is that, yeah, you tried to hurt their character, their reputation. You did this Charlie from Always Sunny in, Phil uh, Sunny in Philadelphia skit where he was doing the string theory all over the wall, whether in the uh, mail room. And he goes absolutely bonkers. That's what you were doing to make connections to try to ruin all these people's character. And I don't see where you can justify that that was an okay thing and literally not even apologize for it. Your justification is nobody got hurt. That makes no sense to me. That's not owning up to it. That's just trying to move the goalposts just a little bit further and go, all right, I'm relieving myself of responsibility and let everybody know that nobody got hurt. It's fine. Everything's cool. It's kind of not. Your hate that you're getting which I don't, you know, agree with any of the threats. But the hate you're getting is literally a direct connection of the way you reacted and the way you try to shove all these people in the most negative of light. Now, there's a bunch of stuff I didn't cover. Um, even one thing, which was him talking about jealousy. He said he wasn't jealous. Uh, there's no thing that he was jealous about. And I'll go ahead and make my own string theory here. This is mine. This is my opinion. This is my own conspiracy theory. I think you are, you, you are jealous. I think you didn't learn anything and the reason why i think you're jealous is because the way you talked about your money and his money those two things coincide to me because first things first you said his opinion on whatever the thing was i can't even remember right now was that he's rich he grew up upper class and his opinion was nothing to you because he's been rich since he was 19 and then you start going on about how your bills are hard to pay because of youtube this that and the other and while looking up your social blade which is about as close as i get to accurate uh, around right before that happened, your sub count stopped. There was no up and down. It plateaued. Your view count has been going just erratically. So I don't know if maybe you are a little bit depressed, whatever it could be. And you decided that you were going to do the hit piece on this all because of a twit or a, a Twitter follow. And then some people giving you some hate. You try to put two and two together. There's not any content that I've seen where Windigoon has ever tried to advocate towards anyone being violent or harassing or doing anything me myself i'm the same way i try to tell people do not go after people do not attack people do not go in my stead do not do any of this okay i went i've said that since the beginning when i had 10 subs i've always made sure that no matter how small my audience or how big it gets i'm always going to tell you do not go after these people you can go watch the video you can leave a like or a dislike that's up to you uh, i want you to form your own opinion you can even go watch this video like i probably stated a couple times in this and form your own opinion. Maybe it was good enough for you. Maybe it's not. To me, it's not. I think it's terrible. But yeah, guys, that's a bit of an update. A little weird one. I'm also, like I said, I'm a little late to it. Um, I don't know where the if he's going to recover properly from this. Like I said, a lot of his stuff is plateaued. His views are kind of just getting wonky everywhere. Uh, seems like he garnered a lot of hate and he may have rustled a lot of wasp nests uh, trying to... I don't even know what his point was uh, or what his goal was in the end of this. So, you know, all I can say is, like I said, 
Don't go after this guy. Just go make your own opinion. View it. Do what you want to do. But yeah, that's about all I got to say. Y'all have a good one.